It was one week ago today that House Bill 1 was filed. Today, it passed the House. That's the Amanda Ross bill. With the mother of murder victim Amanda Ross sitting in the House chamber, the Speaker guided the legislation. We were honored to use her name to unanimous passage. Amanda Ross was gunned down outside her home last September, allegedly by the man she had a protective order against. Steve Nunn is now behind bars awaiting trial. For more than a decade, he served in the Kentucky House. This is not about his guilt or innocence. A jury of 12 men and women in Fayette County will decide that. This is about a protection that would be available from here on out. The bill would allow for real-time tracking of domestic violence offenders and warnings for their victims. It's a very good start. The head of the Bluegrass Domestic Violence Program says there's more work to do. The next piece we're very interested in is getting dating violence passed because we believe all victims should be afforded the same protections. The Ross family left the House chamber escorted by the Fayette County Sheriff without comment family friend says we can't do anything to bring Amanda back but we can do something to honor her life and this is a very appropriate way to do it now the bill heads to the other side of the Capitol where a spokeswoman for Senate President David Williams says the legislation will be assigned to committee and testimony will be heard but no promises of passage are being made at the Capitol Greg Stottlemyre ABC 36 your local news source